Hi, welcome to Flip Classroom. My name is Katie Twyman and I'm going to be sharing with you my experiences with Flip Classroom today. And I'd like to start by sharing a video with you that will hopefully emphasize the purpose behind Flip Classroom and why it's relevant today. So hopefully you're seeing there that that's obviously not the type of lectures that we're giving. It's not the experience that we want to be giving our students. And through Flip Classroom, we're really going to be starting to speak our students' language. And when we speak our students' language, they're more involved, they're more engaged, they're prompted to be involved in what we're teaching them and I feel like this illustration speaks to that as well where you have a child around technology from a toddler and this is the language this is the best way that we can communicate with our students and by using flip classroom we're honing in on those strengths that they have because of the time period that we're in so flip classroom um, is an idea that two men had started and they asked themselves what is best for the students in my classroom and what they realized after discussion is that students need their teachers most to answer questions or to provide help in application they don't need the teacher around or they need the teacher less when listening or reviewing content or receiving a lecture those are things that they can listen to they can pause they can stop they can repeat and it doesn't need to be done face-to-face -face in time. So Flip Classroom is actually an opportunity for students to do the work they usually do at home in school and work they usually do in school at home. So typical homework assignments become your schoolwork. That's where students should be applying. That's where they're really looking at the things that were taught that day and trying to do it independently. The idea with Flip Classroom is that we're there to guide them and give that immediate feedback that they need in order to be the most successful. So schoolwork is homework, and homework is schoolwork, that independent practice piece. Here you're looking at a comparison between the traditional classroom and the flipped classroom, and you're going to see several elements that are the same. And this is a traditional classroom of the two men who are chemistry teachers in high school. This is the format that they used. This may not be prep appropriate, but this is something that I thought would really show and highlight the advantages of flipped classroom. So you start with the warm up. In the traditional classroom setup, you go over homework for 20 minutes, you lecture for 30 to 45 minutes, and then you have your independent practice. And this is a 90 minute setup, which we also don't have the benefit of having in every class. But what I do want to highlight is that in flat flipped classroom, you'll still have your warm up to get your students engaged. You can review your video just through questions and answers after watching your video last night. What did you notice? What did you learn? What can you tell me about the content? And then the rest of your time is all guided in an independent practice. It gives you a lot more strategic focused time to meet with individual students to meet all of their particular needs in that area. And these are several reasons why Flip Classroom 
can work for you and the benefits of using it in your classroom. So for one, as we addressed, it speaks your student's language. You're using technology. It's the best way to get them engaged and communicating. It also helps active students with a busy schedule. So if they have games in the evening, if they missed a day of school, it allows them to watch these videos at any time. And because communication has become more and more portable, students can watch on their iPad, on their parents' iPhone, on their own iPhone for that matter, a video in the car. And they can jot and take in that content at that time. It also helps your struggling students because it can, as the next point states, pause, repeat, and rewind your instruction. When you have that face-to-face -face instruction, you can't meet every individual on the carpet at that time. But with Flip Classroom, the students can pause the video, they can repeat it, go back to make sure they heard it correctly, and see it as many times as they need. It also allows us to increase teacher-student interaction because as in the previous slide showed, you can have a full 75 minutes of guided practice or independent practice school, which would allow you more personalized time to meet with all of your students. It also increases the student-to-student -student interaction. You have a lot more room for centers, activities, learning objectives that all these students can do together. Providing purposeful feedback is also a benefit with Flip Classroom because you can immediately look at what the students are doing during that independent practice and provide them the information they need to take the next step in order to be the most successful. This Flip Classroom, these videos, also allows the homework to be meaningful. It's something that you're going to be using on a daily basis and it really has to, it holds them accountable for making sure their work is done. Differentiating more regularly and purposefully can also occur using this technology because you can address each of those students' needs immediately in the classroom, whereas with homework that's being sent home on a ditto or a reading, you're not there to provide them the scaffolding that they may need. Flip Classroom can also change and improve and or improve your classroom management. Your class is going to run a little bit differently. You're not going to have as much of that content, that lecture time where you might have to tell a student to make sure their eyes are on you or please sit still. Is your pencil out? Are you ready? And all of your time is now being used to address individual student needs. Authentically assessing learning directly in the classroom is also possible. With homework, sometimes you're not sure if a parent was there to guide the students on their learning. Was it truly independent or was it guided? How meaningful is that homework? This is also a great way to engage and educate your parents. Many times parents can sit and watch the videos with their child. They are seeing the exact strategy, the exact method, or the technology that is being used to help your student with the new content. And then they can use those same strategies, those same technologies with their child at home. So you're always on the same page with your student's parents. And if you choose to, you can never be absent. You can set up these flip videos for your students. You can have the su substitute play them as if you were there. And then you're never missing a full day of classroom content. So the videos actually, how do they work? What, how does this happen? So the homework is the video. So you're planning ahead. These videos need to be done ahead of time for your students. So you're going to plan your video as you would any lesson. And then you're going to record. You can use either Smart Recorder, Camtasia, or Camtasia Relay. Smart Recorder is something that everyone has access to. It's the easiest. It's right on Smart Notebook. And the only downside, if you want to call it a downside, is that there's no possibility for editing. So you may have to do it once, twice, three times to make sure it's the way you want it to. But with Flip Classroom, you also want these videos to be short and sweet. So even if you have to do it three times, those three times shouldn't be more than 15, 20 minutes and you're done. Camtasia and Camtasia Relay require uh, licensures. So that's a cost that would be consumed for um, that technology. But that does allow you to do a little bit more with editing and putting in other links 
to enhance the quality of your video. So if you have the choice to edit, you can edit and then you publish and you have several options to publish as well. I have used a YouTube account, but now that CREC is using Schoology, that is a great source for everyone to access. All students will have an access point there where they can get the videos. For students who may not have internet, you can use a USB or a DVD and they can put it on the computer as well. So just helpful hints about flip videos, the shorter the better. If you can get them between five to seven minutes, that's perfect. You want to be animated, be humorous, get them involved in what you're really saying. And if you have the opportunity, team teach. Get another teacher who's on your team and do the videos together. Have two voices that are playing off each other in your video. Or on a Monday, I'll do the video. Partner one can do it on Tuesday. Partner two can do it on Wednesday. And then you have your week's worth of videos done and you can all share and you all know that your students are getting the same strategies, the same style of learning. So it becomes easier to look at assessing as well because you know the teaching style was the same. You can also add annotations and call outs to really bring in those specific students while you're giving your video. My only warning about annotations and call outs is that you may not be able to use that particular video in years to come because you may not have a student of that name. So another huge benefit in Flip Classroom is once their video is done, it's always there. You may want to tweak, you may want to look at it in years to come to see if it's still the right strategy that's going to fit the needs of your students. But you can always go back to that library of videos that you've created for a particular subject or content area. So I'm going to give you the opportunity now to do one of these things to really get you going, to have work time. You can create a Schoology or YouTube account to have your videos stored. You can write a welcome letter to parents explaining Flip Classroom. You can create a flip video introducing yourself and the Flip Classroom philosophy. You may want to sit with other people from your team or your grade level or your building to see if you want to work together to put some of those ideas together. You can also visit my YouTube channel to look at sample videos. Here you'll also see that there are several websites that you can visit for more information about the flip classroom. Nuet and I will be coming around to see how you are progressing and answer any questions. Thank you.